So I have been, for the past two weeks, trying to film a video to upload to this YouTube channel. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been on YouTube far longer than this channel. <sighs> I want you guys to see my life through my eyes, through my perspective, because I truly feel like that is the only way to be 100% me on this channel. So, here we go. I am hungry, but I don't know if I have enough time to do anything in the kitchen before I have to go to my next class. I don't know if I should just sit here and be miserable or actually do something about this. <laughs> you know, later maybe I'll say it. And I was like, okay, so in this case, it's time for you to reflect. He's like, I can understand why you were all. And he's like, oh, at first I just thought like you were on drugs and shit and crazy. And he's like, now I understand where you're coming from. So I got my food. I decided to go with leftovers because it's not going anywhere. When I would film what I eat in a day for my old channel, it would be so unnatural. I would have to spend hours in the kitchen. I would always feel so burnt out by the end of the day. It honestly made me hate filming and that's why I've had such an issue with filming for this channel because I feel like I have to be a certain way. It's this constant battle in my brain. This is real. This is this is life. Leftovers, you know? You know, don't think you have to post beautiful pictures of your food if you're into that stuff. Food is food. It's there to nourish you. It's there to make your life better, not to stress you out. I'm gonna eat this now and I should probably get back to class, so bye. I'm sorry if you can hear my heater in the background. It gets really cold in my room really fast because there's a huge draft. I really want this video to be simply me just living in my life and me showing you how that is. So I thought it'd be really cool to show you this little journal entry I wrote. It is a little jambled because I wrote it very late at night. So I guess I should probably just read it now. 4.20 a.m. Tuesday, March 23rd. I think I finally realized that I'm never going to be the same person I was one year ago, one month ago, or even one day ago. A part of me already knew this, but it's just hard to admit because I loved my life in 2020. It was the first time I felt like me in a long time. I didn't have to depend on external things anymore to make me happy. It was like I had found this hidden part of my life I never experienced before. I do have to admit, I like this new me, but I will still miss those walks with Aunt Dawn and my mom in the sun. In the nights, I would listen to music and cry my eyes out, or staying up to see the sunrise and having the feeling that everything's going to be okay. I will never forget you, 2020. You have changed so many lives, and I will be forever grateful that you changed mine for the better. As much as I would love to hold on to you, I need to let you go. Goodbye, 2020. I really feel like this entry sums up everything I've been feeling. I always expect things to happen the same way that they did 
uh, when they've happened before. So now that I'm going through spring again and entering into this different part of the year, I do see some differences in myself and it, it does kind of scare me because even though I know change is good, it doesn't mean that I'm always going to be happy about it, you know? But that's just this week's challenge. I'm just going to chill because today's my day off and I want to have fun. So, bye. When I tell you that I've been trying to get myself out of this house, I used to go on walks, like I went a few times, but then I just stopped because school was getting stressful and I didn't know what to do. We are on our way. We are trekking down to town. It's so incredibly nice out. It really does feel like spring is coming, but I definitely did not expect the spring to come as soon as it did. So I'm very happy. This is that one I'm walking across this river and um, I've done it before with my mom but it's just such a beautiful walk It's the next day. I pretty much just chilled after I went out. I was kind of exhausted. Whenever I go out for long amounts of time, I really do get super drained. Today it is very gloomy and rainy and a perfect day to stay home, really. I had so much fun making this video. It feels like I finally found the type of videos I genuinely like making. It just feels like a new beginning is happening. Thank you to anyone and everyone that has watched this video. Thank you for sticking along until the end. But I'll see you guys next week. Bye.